Whether it's the airport or Michigan Avenue shopping, the latest COVID surge is not keeping everyone at home, but people are listening and taking precautions for Thanksgiving. We used to have a big get together, but now it's going to be on a smaller scale. Yes, we're absolutely staying home. We're going to make a duck for the two of us. Um, I would not want to be put in jeopardy at my age. I usually uh, sit at the table with my family, eat Thanksgiving dinner with my family. But this year, I'm late to ride, just ride my bike. Smaller gatherings are wearing masks. These are examples of a philosophy called harm reduction. We see it every day in things like putting your seatbelt on or using a condom. Those are all harm reduction. They're not 100%. You could still get injured or pass away in a car crash. Erica Ernst with the Chicago Recovery Alliance says the idea behind harm reduction is reducing the risk rather than completely eliminating it. It is the philosophy behind two public health crises, HIV and drugs. We know from evidence that uh, the just say no didn't work and we also know that um, for celibacy doesn't work for most kids and young adults. Operating under the premise that people will engage in risky behavior no matter what or may not follow a government shutdown order, the state's top doctor says harm reduction is a better option than doing nothing at all. I try to give the best ways that you can make your choice a little bit safer than maybe what you would be doing. So yes, I think we're trying to utilize that harm reduction principle. So even if you refuse to be completely homebound for the holidays, reducing the harm by following some of the protocols will help. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.